What's up everybody? It's Letitia with Barefoot Gardening. I hope that you're doing well. I'm just outside taking a gander over the backyard garden. Man, we've had some windy days and uh, very rainy, rainy days. So just taking a look. Bought some plants from in the house outside to get them some sun. So I'm going to start doing this. Um, it's almost time to plant those one of the crops uh, here in zone 6b uh, I'll probably give it about another week but I need time to transition the plants uh, so they hopefully they won't die on me or go through too much sock uh, from the elements being outside versus being inside the house so yeah that's what I'm trying to do let me show y'all a few things though while I'm out here and I'm taking my butt in the house because I've been out here working y'all might not look like it but I've been out here working y'all that butter crunch is on fully you hear me look at how beautiful oh my gosh i should have been eating these uh pea shoots man or selling them to a restaurant or something because ain't one flower on all these peas i'm still trying to give it time but y'all there's so many peas um i got one flower over here on this lonely plant look at it but uh you know not much going on with the peas my volunteer leaf lettuces well i call volunteer they i mean i planted them but back in the fall and they just now coming up so uh they looking good so this is a new bed um i planted some curly kale some dino kale and some paris cost lettuce and some chinese chives um and they are starting to come up we've had tons and tons and tons of rain so i was praying that you know eventually they would come on up and looks like they are the Chinese chaz are gonna be the last to come up because I just I planted them like a week or two after I planted every maybe a week after I planted everything else so everything is looking good though y'all my collards are just gorgeous honey all the way diva the bees are out enjoying the flowers the collards are going to seed so I'm gonna have tons and tons and tons of those uh, so I'm excited about these are these are Georgia collards the seed pods are forming y'all see them right there all the way up so that's kind of that's kind of dope look at these bees and things swimming around swarming around rather not swimming <laughs> these are the other collard seedlings that I uh, seeds that I planted now they're all little bunches of seedlings so I'm gonna separate some of these give them away um some is dying back that's okay though because y'all see i have tons and tons and tons i don't know if i ever showed y'all this part of my garden but i planted some red mustard greens right here and just to see if they would come up in my native soil and so they did and i'm i'm so pumped up about that aren't they pretty look at that color oh my goodness just little speckles of just majesticness i love it looks so cute so cute these are my potatoes and they're looking really good right now they're coming up in their little pots Go over there yeah everything is looking really good these are ra radishes french breakfast radish in the cali Kim smart pot uh here and i'm just gonna move the leaves back so y'all can see so y'all can see them down there they're looking good y'all I'm excited about them and they're bigger this year I think than I had last year so something is digging in in here real hard like I don't know what he's after but he's in here so I got some other things going on I got some swish chard uh, here uh, that's the just the original uh, swish chard regular swish chard this is the rainbow um, these are squashes and such I don't know what else is out here but uh, it looks like a squash or a melon or something uh, going on right there. My mustard's back here. I need to harvest. Um, they're, they look a little um, like they need to be fed too, don't they? Uh, so I'll probably do that feeding um, in, a, in a day or so. I'm not going to do it today. I'm tired. Here's the arugula that came up. And this is arugula. Uh, this is leeks right here they are growing really good this is the parsley and y'all notice i cut that back gave it to a restaurant 
and my oregano here i also cut back and gave some to a restaurant y'all and so that's pretty dope and my mint back there in the corner cut that back y'all know it was huge gave that to a restaurant and um i got some things going in here that i didn't know about so the arugula right now well first off i planted these the arugula i planted i planted everything but i have onions right underneath and i don't know how good they're going to do so i need to cut this arugula back i guess because they're being shaded out the onions are can y'all see them right in there yeah they're being shaded out but i have i do have a new new row coming up here and um right in the middle here i planted some paris cost lettuce but it's like it didn't germinate as much um i don't know what's going on but it's a complete bald spot so i got to put something in there very 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 soon so if you notice my little meyer lemon tree is not only bald but almost all gone right all of this is dead all of this is dead um no sign of life anywhere so i cut it back significantly and some of you might have said oh letitia why'd you do that i mean compared to what it looked like versus this this piece right here is the only green piece left on the tree i mean it's completely dead y'all can see that that is white right there okay completely white um this side as well it's dead so what i'm gonna do is let it dry out as much as possible it's been outside for about a week and has gotten a lot of rain but i'm gonna pot this up and see if it will just stay alive for me i might root prune a little bit um that's just cutting some of the roots off um and see what happens i don't i don't know y'all but the calamundin is looking real great and loving the sun um so but yeah it is it is what it is you, you want some you lose some in the garden that's okay in life um but i'm proud that i at least kept it alive for a year and almost a year and it's still alive i mean it's still alive but it's barely hanging on so we'll just see what happens okay and last but not least so this is the new addition to barefoot gardening my uh, four by four is supposed to be four by four it looks bigger to me it's definitely taller but <laughs> but it's supposed to be a four by four uh raised bed and i've started filling it so this y'all notice my compost pile is gone because a lot of it is in the bottom of this and then i transferred a lot of it too to that black trash can over there where i originally started putting my compost and then i thought it was a good idea to put uh, one up against the fence and i have i had mice so i i moved that but i do have some kind of what whatever was left is in there and then i put uh two bags of soil in there that i got from lowe's for half off because the bag had holes in it and so it wasn't a full bag of soil so i'm gonna i found a place uh, according to the guy that did this to me his uh, for for me his name is steven and he works um he uh started a local group here called ag in the city um uh and just teaching people how to grow teaching people how to test their soil teaching people you know all these different things so about gardening and um so he built this raised bed for me thank you steven and um i think it's gorgeous and uh so i just gotta fill it up y'all and get some stuff planted in here my goal i don't know what what i want to plant i think i, I want to put some maybe um some zucchinis in here um plants and squashes um and just give that a shot the first time the first raised beds that, that i had was a four by four over there with the collards and i planted the first thing i planted was zucchini and squash in there and a cantaloupe y'all and it, it did magnificent in the raised bed so i might try that again with this bed um i'm actually gonna attempt to show everyone how to do square foot gardening with this bed as well because i have a lot of followers that are beginners and that i use that method when i first started i really like the method um and uh so i'm i may make this my little experiment example bed um just to play around i don't know and have some fun with the square foot gardening method so stay tuned y'all i love y'all y'all know i do and i'll talk at you later bye